Hey everyone, it is day 26 of 90 of the Vulnerable Adventure with Alex Eccles. And I wanted to bring up something that may be a bit taboo. It may just be me, but sure we love to go to clubs and party and buy bottles and pop champagne and have amazing times and drive nice cars and wear nice watches and some of us just like to put food on the table. But my question today is, what is your view on money? Do you feel that you need a lot in your life or do you just simply need enough to get by? Is it a vehicle for you and your dreams or are you afraid of it? And the reason I say that is because this year has been, I guess, a pivoting sort of, of, of time for me when it comes to money and my outlook and my view on it. And when I say that is earlier this year I had a breakthrough when I was with... Um, one of my personal development retreats and I realized that although I may attract money from time to time for different things that I want to do in my life, I have been quite afraid of it my entire life. And the reason I say that is because we think about the circumstances and where I come from. You know, the South Side of Chicago may have been once a prominent black neighborhood for doctors and lawyers and African-American greatness, but over time it, it has changed and has not dipped below the poverty line in any sense, but there's no affluent people there. And so when it comes to money, I think about how much debt I see so many people and, you know, whether it's family or whether it's people around me or anything. And I think seeing that through high school, through college and just hearing about it from family and hearing about it from friends and a lot of friends and a lot of people in, in general, I became very feel, fearful of it. And so I never, ever, ever, ever used money or spent money that was not mine. So that means I never had credit cards. That means that I possibly didn't get the thing that I really wanted for the sake of staying within that comfort zone and, and staying away from it. But as you get older, at least for me, as I got older, I realized that you, the credit cards that you get, if you're responsible with them, then you build your credit. You grow. And I think that's just how my outlook is changing in general is the more that I am responsible with my thoughts, responsible with my desires, responsible with my actions, the more growth that is going to come from each of those components. And I'll admit, by no means am I rich or anything like that. No means. <laughs> Some days it's still a struggle. But it's helped me so much because with my envision of the future of not having to worry, having a lifestyle in which I can do what I want, when I want, with who I want, I realize that I have to let go of these fears of money more and more. And I'm working on it. So this is the vulnerable adventure, right? Money, sex. Drugs, religion, politics, taboo. But what would life be if we just continue to just keep everything inside that made us vulnerable? Life is interesting. It really is. Money, 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 money. You know the song? Money. I'm crazy, I know. But I also see and hope that you see that. I, 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 I love you guys. Take care, my people. Day 26, The Vulnerable Adventure, Alex Eccles. I'm going for a swim. Peace out.